Hi, welcome to climbingarborist.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a pulley saver from the ground and then safely retrieve it um, once you come back down from your climb. So, I've already got the throw line in the tree to where I want to install the pulley saver. The first thing I'll do is I've doubled over my climbing line, so I've got both the termination end and uh, the tail of my rope. Um, what I'll do here is take the tail of the line through the pulley, I'll get hold of the termination end again, the tail, and I'm going to pull through the whole length of the rope up there. Next, I'm going to get the, the tail end and the termination end again. Now I'm just going to tie a bowline in the end of the tail. Then I'm going to take a carabiner, clip that through both the termination end and the tail of the line and connect to the throw ball. Next thing is to install the line itself, so you're installing a doubled section of line over your anchor point. Okay, so now we've pulled that the double section up and over, we can see the downside to this method is that you need four times the length of rope um, for the height of the tying point. Uh, so that's that's the downside. Anyway, we'll take off the carabiner and untie that bowline that tied in there. So we have the tail and the termination end. Now we need to take the tail and the termination end and place those through either the ring or the the loop that you have on the other end of your pulley saver. And all you need to do now is simply pull down on that doubled section and it will take it will pull the pulley up and subsequently the um, the loop or the the ring will follow it'll pull the pulley over the branch and through the loop and there you have it Okay, so now you have, you've come down from the tree, um, always make sure before you come down you've connected the, the tail of the line to the little um, retrieval uh, snap or what, whatever retrieval system you've got on the pulley saver there. So just make sure that's connected before you descend down um, to the ground. So we've got down to the ground. As I was coming down, in order to do this retrieval method, I've taken the tail of my line and looped it over a, a, like a low branch, like it's probably about 20 feet up. So I've just looped the tail of my line over um, and that's going to be useful uh, for retrieval. Take the retrieval ball and put it through the termination eye as you usually would. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just pull that up a little way. Now what I'm going to do is take the tail of my line and tie it round here. I'm just going to tie um, a bowline. I'll tie a bowline, which is is the the hole is wide enough there for it, this just to run up the rope. And what this is going to do is I'll pull this tail up like so up to the limb about 20 foot up and basically this is going to act um, to catch the pulley saver as it comes out of the tree so that the pulley saver doesn't slam into the ground so the pulley saver will kind of come out from the time point and it'll just get caught on um, on this line and then you can lower it down
Nice. Stand clear. So now I can just take the retrieval ball off. Take the rope out, pulley saver, take the bowline out of the tail of my line and just retrieve the tail that went over that branch and, and that's it. So you can see how it's, it's just like a safer form of retrieval instead of having the, the pulley saver or the camion saver smash onto the concrete or the ground wherever you work.